Before we get started, I just uh, wanted to tell you that this is not a sponsored video. This is just an item that I bought and I wanted to share it with you because I'll probably be making a video two or two about uh, how I'm using it. Uh, this dehydrator I bought recently. And I'll just pull it out of the box. I've already had it out of the box. So that's but this is about how it comes. You don't have to do a whole lot to it except restack the trays when you get ready to use it. It comes with the instruction booklet. And the cord is wrapped up underneath the bottom so you just have to unwrap that cord and pull it out uh, before you use it. But when I pick out an item to buy online I like to read the reviews then I also like to consider the price and there might be better ones I'm not saying this is the best one out there and I'm not even saying it's a good one but I just wanted to show you what I got for myself and um, we plan to use it for a variety of things uh, especially herbs uh, drying herbs it, it, I think it's going to be real handy for that but the trays are packed in order to save space for shipping and this is the top here. Let me take that off. Then it come, this one I got comes with four drying trays. And the bottom tray, it has a handle on it. And before you use it, you have to flip that over with the writing up. And there's also another way you can tell it has these these little ribs all the way around. If you have it wrong, some of those will be sticking up. If you have it right, they'll all be even all the way around. And, it, and of course the easiest way to tell is if the writing is up. It says this side up as a matter of fact. Then after you put that one with the handles on first, then again you can look at the ribs t as a reference for the ones without the handles and you want it to have the side up that's even you just stack that on pick another one with the handle and then we have the writing up again then pick another one with no handles And then last, of course, is the lid. Just like so. And once you get them stacked right, you can uh, take the trays off, load them up, and use it. And this instruction manual, manual here, uh, it has instructions on packing and storage of your dried food items. How to do beef jerky, uh, also how to do uh, fruit leather, how to dry fruit, and in the drying guide here it, it gives you an approximate drying time for each item. It starts in alphabetical order on the fruit with apples, apricots, bananas, blueberries, and so on. Then it goes over to uh, the vegetables, and again it's in alphabetical order, it gives you drying times, it's a pretty handy little guide here. And one thing I should mention that uh, I wasn't fully aware of uh, when I bought it is when you dry herbs and berries and that sort of thing, these holes in the drying trays are large enough to where some of that's going to fall down through so you really need, if you're going to do herbs and berries and small items, you need one of these uh, screens and that's an accessory you can order. I got a couple of those so that's what they look like. But these do not come with the dehydrator in case anybody's considering getting one. I want to make that clear. Um, there are also other accessories you can buy. I haven't really looked at them all, but I know there's one accessory for making the uh, fruit leather. It's different than the screen, I think. 
but I just wanted to show you a little bit about this because uh, I'll probably be doing a video or two on when we start drying things in case uh, anybody wanted to look at more details about the product itself uh, I can refer them back to this video but I just wanted to show you what we'll be using and again I'm not saying this is a good one or a bad one or anything I'm just showing you that this is the one we're using that's a quick look at the dehydrator and uh, hopefully I'll find time to do a few videos on the different things I'll be drying and I'll share those when I get those done and if you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe that way you can follow along see how we do things see what works what doesn't we'll see you next time